Mihai Tudos is the second prime minister to be ousted by the ruling Social Democrat Party in less than seven months. An internal power struggle became public last week after he called, after he clashed with a close ally of the party chairman. Well, for more on this, we can speak to Lolantio Colantinianu, who's joining us from Bucharest. Uh, Lolantio, good to speak to you, as always. So, how have we managed to come to this? Last time you and I spoke, uh, there were protests outside of Parliament about a year ago. Well, yeah, and they were caused by the same person that's also involved in uh, both the oustings of the two Social Democratic Prime Ministers, and that's the party leader, Mr. Livio Dragnea. Now, uh, the fact that the ruling Social Democrats withdrew their political support uh, towards their own Prime Minister, Mihai Tudose, follows the same pattern. We could easily say that this is history repeating. In one way or another, directly or indirectly, the two prime ministers so far, Sorin Grindanu, who was forced out in June of last year, and Mihai Tudose, who's forced out now, clashed with the party leader, Livio Dragnea. Now, I will remind you and our audience that Mr. Livio Dragnea wanted to be prime minister himself, but he could not do that because of a prior criminal conviction for voter fraud, uh, which he is now serving actually a suspended sentence for. So we are now in the same situation where within one year of social democratic rule, uh, Romania has changed two prime ministers, thus also changing two cabinets, because the resignation of the prime minister automatically attracts the resignation of all cabinet ministers. So, um, and also a, a fact to be reminded is that President Klaus Johannes who's been in office since 2014, so he's in office for about three years now, a little more than three years. He has uh, had to work together with four prime ministers in total because of this uh, instability, for one, and because of the desire of the Social Democratic chairman, Mr. Liviu Dragnea, to have a very tight grip and a very tight control over executive matters, although he's not in office himself.